Hello and welcome to another episode of Google Sheets learning series with Sayed. In this episode we will talk about how to use arrays with dynamic filters. To follow along with me please click on the link in the video description to make a working copy of this workbook. On this book I have four worksheets. Sheet is where I will demonstrate the second sheet is for you to practice. I have practice data set and the last sheet I have is the key sheet. I will come back to the sheet in a moment. Let me go to the seed sheet to start. I need the data for these four columns to be extracted from the practice data set. So for that I will use the array formula function right here in the cell A2. I will type in array and select that array formula function from the list. Open the flower bracket after the standard bracket to make sure my array formula function works efficiently. Then go to the practice data set. From here I will select the employee ID. That's the first column I require. Then I require full name. I'll select that one insert comma. Then I need country names. I will select that column comma. Finally I need the department names. So for that I will select the column F. Close the flower bracket and close the standard bracket. Now I press enter. You can see all the data has been fetched. But watch closely. It is also getting me the headers from that data. That is employee ID, full name, country name. Those, those values are repeated here. Don't worry about it because we are going to get rid of it when we use the filter function on top of this. Now what I need to do is I need to create two drop down menus here. One with the name of countries and another one with the unique names of department names. To get the unique names from these columns I will use a function called unique. I will use that function in the key sheet to keep things tidy so that my data is not messed up. So in this key sheet I will go ahead and type in equal to and type in unique function. Once I type that function I will go ahead and select the department names from the column F, close the unique function and press enter. I now have the unique values of all the departments. These are the non-repeated values of all the departments from that data set. Now I need the unique values of the country names. For that I will go ahead and place my selection in cell B1, start typing in unique function and then go ahead and select the country names from the practice data set. Close the bracket and press enter. Now I have the list of countries in non-repeated fashion. These are the unique names of the country names from my data set. Now before I go ahead and create the drop down menus I will name these ranges. For example I want to name this range of data as department so that I can use that department name instead of coming down to the key sheet to refer to these set of cells. To do that I can go to the data menu and select named ranges. That's the option that will allow us to name this range of data in a custom fashion. So I will call it department. Now I will just click on done. Similarly, I will select the first 30 cells from the country column. Since I have my named ranges panel open on the right hand side, I will just click on add range here. You can see the range of data is already indicating the selection of B2 to B30. So I just need to rename this thing to something custom. So I will call it country and click done. Now I have the range of data named as department and country. So I will go to the seed sheet here to create my drop downs using these names. In the cell E1 I will place my selection then go to data menu and select the data validation option. With this option I will be able to create a drop down list. Once I do that I have data validation rules panel on the right hand side. In this panel I will select add rule. Add rule that applies to the cell E1. The criteria should be drop down from the range. 
I will just click on this menu, select drop down from a range and in the range name I will type in country and now I click on done. Now you can see I have my country names listed here. You can customize the look and feel of this drop down by going to the data validation rules panel and selecting that E1 and click on advanced and then you can change the display style to arrow or plain text or chip. I kind of like arrow so I will select that one. You can keep it to chip or change it to arrow as you like. I click on done. Now in the cell F1 I will place my selection and go to data and data validation or since I have my data validations panel open on the right hand side click on add rule in that panel while I have my F1 cell selected. Now you can see it says applies to the range F1. Criteria should be drop down from a range and the range is department. Now I click on done. Before I click on done I can just click anywhere in the blank area. It will fill all the values for me from that range. Click on advanced option select the display style if you want to change that and click on done. So now I have the list of countries and list of departments. I will just select Canada and I want the IT services but nothing is changing here because we did not apply the filter function yet. To do that I will go ahead and select my cell A2 and I have my array formula function running in the cell A2. I will just cut that out and in the same place I will type in filter function. Select the filter function. The first argument that the filter function requires is the range of data. So I will paste back my array formula function that I just happened to cut paste it. That's going to go into the first argument comma. What is the first condition? I want my first condition to match with the name of the country that is selected in the drop down on cell E1. To do that I will go ahead and select the country column from the practice data set. Here I will select the country column any values that is equal to this cell I will just select the first condition for now and close the bracket. Let's see how our one condition thing works and then we will go about extending it to the second condition. Let me press enter. Now you can see all my Canada records have been filtered. If I just select another country you can see it switches almost instantly. Now let me extend this function to add the second condition also. So I want the second condition that is the department name. So I will go ahead and add that one. I, I have removed the closed bracket and added the comma and after that I will go ahead and select the practice data set sheet and from there I will click on the department column. That's the column I want my condition to run on what should it match it should match the value that is selected in the cell F1 now I will close the bracket and press enter now you can see all my values are being filtered based on these two drop downs if I remove values from one of the drop downs it will not run properly so it needs both these values to run properly if I remove values from the first one it will go bonkers. So I need values from both these drop downs. So this is how we use arrays with dynamic filters in Google Sheets. I request you to practice as much as you can. The more you practice the more you will retain. If you have any questions do not hesitate to ask in the comment section below. In the next episode, we will explore more dimensions of Google Sheets. Stay tuned. If you haven't already, please subscribe and click that little bell icon to enable notifications. Stay happy, stay lovely. Until next time.